welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel my name is Isai Dale and here on my channel I upload travel vlogs every Tuesdays and makeup tutorials every Thursday so yes if you like this kind of content please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to keep you updated on my latest video so for today's vlog guys I'm just gonna teach you how to create a spring look tutorial it's an eyeshadow look so spring is coming so soon and yes this is the look that I have for you so if you want to see how I create looks for spring keep so I already done my face guys and my eyebrows so I'm just gonna do the eyeshadow so for today's tutorial I'm gonna use the Morphe James Charles palette so this is how it looks like lots of colorful and beautiful shades and shadows so we're just gonna create a spring look so probably we're just gonna use some blues and orange and pinks for this look so let's start I already also primed my eyelids with a MAC um, painterly paint pots and I used my Sigma brush precision round P82 for this First, I'm just gonna take my Sigma Taper Blending Brush in E35 and I'm just gonna dip my shadows here to the shades. A motion here on my crease and deepening up. Now I blended it pretty well on my crease. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. eye crease brush, it's a small brush, and I'm just gonna dip it in the shade, hmm. this one, pink, hot pink, and I'll put it in my outer V. See how pigmented the shade is? I'm loving it. So just tapping it gently. Buffering it on my crease. Tapping it gently here, the outer crease, out. Now I'm taking a bigger brush and just make buffering the shade and blend it well. Next, I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Regent Concealer and my brush from e.l.f. Flat Eyeshadow and I'm just gonna do a cut crease so I'm just putting in the concealer here on my lid Just open my lid and see the shade there it transfers so I'm just gonna wipe it all over there go over the lid with the, with the concealer using my elf brush
now I blended well the concealer now it's time to get another brush another flat shader brush it's from the Japanese brush it's a flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip my sh um, brush to this blue shade here a matte blue from the palette there's a little bit kick off on the pla the palette but it's not bad so I'll just gently tap it on my eyelid. Now I'm just gonna go back to the pink. I'm using the same shape, shade uh, brush. And I'm just gonna deepen up the outer V. Now I'm taking another flat shader brush, this brush, I'm just gonna clean it and I'm dipping it to the shadow, maybe this one, it has a shimmer and I'm just gonna dip it to my lid. Just dabbing it gently to my eyelids. Now I'm gonna take another small shader brush or maybe this one. I'm gonna dip it in the shade yellow and I'm gonna put it in my inner tear duct. I wanted a shimmery one, but it's a matte yellow. I think this will do. And with the same brush, I'm just gonna swatch it and clean it. I'm dipping it in the shade. Maybe this one or this one? Maybe this one. And I'm putting it here.
Now I'm just gonna clean off some fall off and I'll finish with the eyeliner and false lashes and I'll bring I'll give you the finish look. So keep on watching. So guys, this is the final look that I have created for you for spring. And it is very colorful though, but it is wearable as well. So I really enjoyed the look that I have come up using the Morphe James Charles palette. I really love this palette. It's really huge and you have lots of colors to pick. And like you can do also neutrals with this over here and here. Or you can also do colorful looks using these shades here. So yes, it is a fun um, palette to use. And I've been reaching with this palette for quite some time now. I've been playing with this and I really love um, this palette for because it is also blendable and very pigmented. And yes, it's so, so much fun to um, play with this palette and create more looks using this palette so if you have this palette too as well, as well please let me know in the comments down below how you've been enjoying the palette and yes i hope you do enjoy the tutorial and you find it helpful and i hope to see you on my next video but before you leave please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you on my next video thank you so much for watching keep safe and have a good Good day. Bye guys!